they fired on two. Okay, now, yeah. Now. I forgot to push the button again. Yeah. Yeah, I, no I just have to as an excuse. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, well, what a day. We've had quite the course, haven't we? So, <laughs> yeah, we had a nice long discussion yesterday after we were done about where we were, like, like where we were, is this too hard, like, what like what's sort of the role of this course in the whole learning process? Is anyone expected to know this after the course? Or is it too like Yeah, what what is the what is the, the main main learning yeah. outcome? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That should be expected or could be expected. Yeah. Maybe yeah, we were. Wanna... Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking quite a bit about like, uh, like this uh, idea of like n plus one that like you don't necessarily understand ev everything when you first encounter a subject, but then you encounter it later on. Like that has happened at least for me in multiple occasions. So maybe maybe. Hopefully, we can be the end to your n plus one. So, <laughs> yeah, I propose we have a bigger discussion of the learning outcomes after the after yeah, we after start. the hour starts. So, because yeah. I think this is important. Mm. Um, yeah, for now, I can say that I'm waiting for having some ice cream. Like, there's an ice cream truck that comes <laughs> every now and then, and it's like. It's the best thing on every Friday if it comes. Like I hope it comes this oh. Friday because I'm ready for some ice cream. <sighs> yeah, like is you mean in like where you live? Uh in Viki. In Viki, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right right to the doorstep it comes there and children scream and go get fed some ice cream. Do, do they still have the same say do 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 the the uh, no, it? no, they don't have the 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 tra traditional uh, oh. jingle. Is there anything oh, now? Or like... There is some jingle, but I can't remember. But our cat goes completely berserk <laughs> when he hears it. Yeah, yeah. like what? What is this? <laughs> who's coming? Who's who's attacking now? Yeah, and maybe there are some <laughs> like attacking? frequencies that are like like not bad for us but like really mm. bad for cats or dogs mm. Mm. I, I can't imagine oh. yeah but uh with our uh with the powers vested in us we can say that like we can grant you the permission of having an ice cream after this course because <clears throat> Yeah, we we I'm definitely <laughs> having one. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting getting uh some happy and some overwhelmed. Um both are very understandable feelings. Oh, yeah. So Toward, towards uh, towards day one and two. Yeah. Oh, was I supposed to tell you how I'm using the cluster to process videos? Yeah, so, I think this might be a good point before we start the actual. Yeah. So let's see. So we record four hours of video from this, and it needs processing. And this is basically a lesson in all of the different tools we're teaching you and we that you could be using for 
your stuff. So first, the raw videos are recorded in a Git repository using Git Annex because they're large files. I have some rules set up that will automatically synchronize this between my computer where I'm recording and the cluster. And the rules are set up with Git Annex so that way it only sends the audio files to the cluster. So on the cluster, I use OpenAI's Whisper tool to make transcripts, make subtitles for them. And to manage this, I have a make file. So the make file is some basic automation of things. So on my computer, I can do make AAC, which extracts out the audio from the video. And then I add that to Git Annex. Git Annex knows to only synchronize the audio files to the cluster. On the cluster, I can run make SRT to make all the subtitles. And because I'm using make, I can tell it, do it in parallel. Like I'll say use four processors at a time. It submits a GPU job, which goes to a partition and does the um, processing, saves them again. I can add it to Git and resync them back to my own computer. For all the segments and stuff, we also use Git for this to synchronize it around. So we have a plain text file in YAML format, which has the workshop description and then all the cut points in the video, and then a tool that I can run. So, so far I'm running it on my own computer to do the encoding. I guess I could switch to the cluster someday. But anyway, so I run that and it does the encoding. And yeah, it's all somewhat automatic and all tracked with version control so it can sync between the different computers fairly well. Um, let's see, are there any other points there? So it uses the cluster, it uses Git, it uses version control, no, that's Git. It uses plain text files being edited with a console editor. It the uses make, make file files. For... Automate yeah, for issues. automation. <laughs> but these kinds of things don't just happen overnight. So it slowly gets developed over many different courses we've given. Each time I'm making it a little bit better and a little bit more automatic. So yeah, this is not the kind of thing that someone can just make from scratch. Hey, it's uh, it's zero zero. Yeah. Minutes. Okay. So you wanna start? Should I will we start? jump. I will jump off. Okay. See you. See you. So let's check the icebreaker questions. So, the best ice cream flavor. Does this match what you think? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I'm I'm torn between chocolate and vanilla myself. Yeah. The old classics. Yeah. So but the next questions are the real important mm. ones. So yeah. day one and two, they were two. That compacted it down. So yeah, and this is sort of what we'd expect. So happy, overwhelmed. I don't know if the same people are voting for both of them, but we fully realize that this is an insane amount of information that we're talking about. And it's just the tip of the iceberg, really. So we don't really think that with this one course, we don't expect you to know everything by yourself. In fact, who was it? So someone was talking yesterday after the course mentioned, what was it about like watching the YouTube videos and something all making sense, but you had to have experience with mm -hmm. it before it made sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, like basically if you, if you encounter some topic and you, you have a like a teacher or some someone who teaches it well, 
and well in this case they were interviewing a teacher who, who was known for teaching stuff well and he said like uh, a bit of self deprecation in his voice that like he thought that like somebody else has probably taught the topics beforehand and he was just a person who basically like locked the pieces in place so mm. you you don't like there might be another source of information that we will finally lock the info like the stuff into place or maybe we can in some cases lock the pieces into place that you have learned or heard about previously but the idea is that like maybe throughout this course some stuff will be overwhelming it might be too much i can understand it completely but maybe the next time you encounter the topic and the next time you see it you basically then uh, get this kind of like a eureka moment that and everything locks into place, but it's very hard to tell where when that will happen and what will happen. So, and it's it's uh, yeah, it's it's hard. Like for us, yeah. it it has taken years to familiar familiarize ourselves with the with the tools and the topics and everything. But mm -hmm. once you become accustomed to them, then you forget or start to forget what it's like beforehand, and that's the problem basically. Like, how can we translate something that we learned? Uh, and this this is an ongoing discussion in the HPC world anyways. Like, do, does every new generation have to go through the same pains <laughs> in order to learn the things? So, like, like does every new generation of scientists have to learn the same, like, Fortran's and, and C's and, and, like, all of these old technologies in order to do new stuff? Do they have to go through the same crucible? And... I say I, I think no, but but sometimes there are things that are very hard, uh, and because like stuff is built upon other things, and and it's very hard to uh, get to the end point without going through all of the the inter intermediate steps. So and and maybe we don't know how to get to the end point yeah. without uh, going through the intermediate steps. Yeah. And, and yeah. I mean, I'll definitely say there's some sort of big usa usability problem with many clusters, but also I think there is some intrinsic difficulty here. So this might be the first time that many people are going from running code themselves to programming, programming something else to run all the codes yourself. And no matter how easy we try to make that, it's still a whole level of abstraction to be learned. And three days is just too fast to do that. So here's my proposed learning path, or what I think that y'all should keep in mind when you're learning these things. So if this is feeling overwhelming for you, then get what you can now. Don't worry about knowing everything. But you get sort of the big picture of what's even possible. And you'll know in the future, in weeks or months or years, OK, I need to do this particular thing. You can come back and check the material. Maybe at that point, you're ready and it makes sense, and you can learn yourself. But if not, which is completely OK, like for example, if next week it's difficult, come to our help sessions. Come to our garage if you're at Alto, and basically say, hey, I was at the course yesterday. and or last week, and I need to do this parallel stuff. Here's my code. Can you show me how to get started? And I'll be like, yeah, OK, sure. So we'll point to you. Like We can even write the basic example script for you to put it all in place. And once you have that model, then you can be modifying stuff. And over time, you'll get more and more comfortable until, who knows, maybe next year, you come to this course again to see what you're missing. And then it will all start clicking and making sense. Yeah, and uh, I'll also mention that, like what we were talking yesterday, is that like through, throughout this uh, thing, like like nowadays, probably half of you have a chat GPT or something open <laughs> on the other screen or somewhere where you can ask uh, ask it to write your scripts for you or do some stuff for you. And in these cases, it's important to like remember that in order to get like good answers uh, to from like from a Google search from get good answers from chat GPT or something. It's a good idea to learn how learn the concepts. Like what sort of questions are you going to be asking? 
and then like the road stuff like what's what parameters you need to use and that sort of things you can like just like uh, let some other thing handle it like i always just go back to like let's say slurm documentation to look what flags were they what were the mm -hmm. exact flags mm -hmm. like what sort mm -hmm. of things like uh, if i'm using yeah. some technology i always go to their web page and then i'll google uh, google stuff in in their documentation what were the actual flags like numpy like was it an underscore or was it a, like a like was it not <laughs> like these sort of things because that's road stuff and that's memorization and that doesn't help at yeah. all but the important stuff is learning about like the big picture and then you mm -hmm. can if you know the big picture yeah. you can ask the right questions and right mm -hmm. find the right flags and that's what we are focusing on today and hopefully yeah. uh you'll uh, get onto it yeah uh, i'll no, yeah so are we yeah. do you think we are ready for starting the parallel or yeah i guess so or what's the yeah, maybe I'll mention uh, if you want to share my so, screen. Uh, yeah, Simo made so, this nice yeah, yeah, demonstration so, picture yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> so I. So if you know the know the. Uh, the movie, movie uh, shining like uh, I I thought about this today. So there will be some word salad coming your way. So because like this, like thousands of different technologies probably that uh, implement like this parallel stuff, this 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 open MP, open MPI, CUDA, AMBA, BISH, like there's all kinds of like different fancy words and fancy technologies that implement the parallel stuff we are going to be talking about, like multi-processing, uh, parallel pools, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but this is not important, or this is like something that we try to avoid as much as possible <laughs> so that you don't get overwhelmed by the words. So don't get caught up in the like techno technological buzzwords too much because those change, like technologies mm -hmm. change, but the underlying like paradigms, they don't change. They have been the same for like, like, I don't know, like from the sixties or something <laughs> like, like stuff like that has been around forever. Uh, but, but what changes are the technologies and the technologies have like common things uh, joining them, so we'll try to avoid like throwing too many of these words together. But it's a good idea to know what, like, if you see some of these technologies in the future, you'll then know that okay, maybe this is related to this paradigm. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, should I do my the initial screen sharing when doing yeah. the discussion, or do you share the, for yeah. the first session? You can. You can share. Okay. And also, I'll mention that if throughout the the course you have uh, um, questions regarding your technologies, like your like we were asking about ice cream flavors earlier. So if you have your own favorite ice cream ice cream fla flavor that you plan on using, uh, ask about it in the chat because at at the end of the day, we hope that to have like a Q and A session where we can answer especially mm -hmm. those questions. Uh, like yeah. so that we can uh, answer now if you have some like questions of is this possible is it possible to use this thing for for my problem and ask those in the in the chat and or in the uh, notes and we'll try to answer it at the end yeah 